with love. I am so excited to have my first EP coming out. I have been talking about this for years, like literally years. I've been saying, I want to do music, I want to sing, I want to write music, I want to do songs, I want to get in the studio, I want to record. And uh, last year, I just did it. Wishes was an epiphany. It's one that's been a long time coming too. And it's just where I basically woman up and I realize a lot about love, you know. Just that I've had these fairy tale expectations of love. I've expected men to be my knight in shining armor. Uh, to do all of the things that I see on TV and in reality um, you know some people have met aspects of those expectations but um, for a while there were a lot of people who did not at all um, but it was a mix of it all but it was me learning that if I was looking for someone perfect I would never find them and that's the truth. There are great men out there, but there's no one out there who's perfect. Everybody has flaws, whether you know about them or not. And so it's me learning, like, for myself, I have to be able to accept imperfection in people. I have to be willing to accept that there's no such thing as a perfect man. Although I do deserve to find a man that's as close to what I deserve and not settle for less. Um... And I, I think, you know, like, you know, that's where the whole wishes thing come from. I was always wishing for perfect. I was always looking for perfect, unflawed. And everyone comes with stuff. We all have baggage. We all have shit we're trying to heal and grow from. And for me to expect that is unfair because I bring a lot to the table, but I also have baggage of my own. Um, and so... That's why I wish, Wishes was a really powerful one for me, and I definitely wanted it to be the end because it's like, you know, I am saying goodbye to accepting less, but I'm also saying hello to expecting more and knowing that just because I love you doesn't mean I have to stay if I'm not feeling like my needs are being met, if I'm not feeling like I'm being loved the way I want to, if I'm not feeling like we're on the same trajectory, and that's okay. I don't have to feel bad about that, and I would. So, wishes with three eyes. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very happy mm -hmm. with how it came out. It came out crazy because it started with a whole different beat, and now it has a completely different sound. Mm -hmm. and Wave Kings? Huh? Wave Kings. Wave Kings. Pro produced by Wave Kings. Yes, the Wave Kings. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Wave The first one, when I had played it yep. for you the first time, like the way it came in, it works, you know, like it comes right. in well. Okay. First, I would say like that second four is, a, the beat is a little bit slower right. than, you know, how you're actually right. singing it. So if you're, if you're going to still keep it on a, a, a little bit on the slower side, I can still uh, slow down the production. Mm -hmm. ah. Like, I don't know, listen to it. <laughs> You'll love it as much as I do. <laughs> it's crazy. I like it. I love it. How's the whole experience been recording the. Recording in general? Yeah. I've definitely gotten way more comfortable with it. I see that. Yeah, yeah. Like, way more comfortable. You're doing amazing, yeah. And, um, I don't know, it like goes to show it's way more than just writing a song and finding a beat. It's yeah. like finding those little things that actually makes a song a 
all the harmonies and the stuff that you don't know you're gonna do until you're actually in the studio. Yes, song like songwriting is a whole different. Like it's one thing to pen the lyrics down. It's different to to actually create a song. Right. Like, and I know for me. I've had to let go of a lot of control because I'm a control freak and I'm like, the way it sounded is how it's going to be. And I've had to let go of that so much <laughs> and it's hard sometimes because you're like, no, but I want it this way. But then when you hear it, it's like, you know what? Now add that shit in. Like, you hurt too much. Yeah, like that. Because when it's like, no when it's like stop it. So when she say, you hurt too much, it's like, yeah. So the shit moves while I'm like. You hurt too much. So now, I'm not sure if you got a feel. Yeah, like, add like some type of. Some type of cymbal sweeps on and go, you don't hurt too much. Or even if you could make her voice right. do that, 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 mm. that feeling. Yeah. Composer extraordinaire, man. The process that went into this track, it's which is true. the story behind it. So, oh, yeah. well, it was just about, and it's like the whole album, about being fed up of just like crazy cycle of love or what you think love is supposed to be like and how it's not working out and how for me specifically I have to get over the thought of love being some movie like everything always works out there's these huge romantic gestures they're always there they're like perfect there's no such thing as a perfect person so it's me understanding that if you really love someone you have to understand there's going to be good times and bad times but also understanding that just because you love someone doesn't mean you should stay and so letting go of that and understanding that and then moving on with that and doing better. Um, so Wishes was a big one for me and I feel like it's kind of a perfect end to the journey and I wanted to call the EP with love because I feel like each song was a letter that I wrote either to a former loved one or to myself and you know, you end a letter by saying with love. So it's ending that chapter of my life, that chapter where I keep running back to old things, that chapter of my life where, you know, I'm not, I'm not, you know, <laughs> just making good choices for myself. That chapter of my life where um, allowing people to break my heart and make decisions about my love life and feeling like I have no say or that I just have to sit there because I love them. Like, I love love, but like, screw love. It's not enough. I can love you and still walk out of that door just as easily as you can. Um, What's your favorite song so far? See, I have thought that it was um, with love, but I think it's this one now. It's Wishes. It's Wishes. Just love how it came out, but I love them all like in their own special way. I don't know, they're all a piece of me in my journey, but which is just definitely it's sitting on my heart right now. Heavy, mm -hmm. <laughs> I really like wishes. Yeah, I was like tearing up listening to some of it when you guys were playing it back. I was like, don't be a little baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying goodbye to a lot of stuff, and I'm really trying to stick to that shit because life. But I'm so happy and I have been so blessed to be surrounded with amazing people on this journey, people who have pushed me, people who have taught me. Um, I've always had a love for music. I've always had headphones in my ears. I've always had a playlist of songs and it's never been one kind of song. I love everything. And so to be able to put everything in my own music and to actually like go on iTunes or on Spotify or on YouTube and see my music there, like I never thought that was possible because I don't know, I always thought you had to be signed to do stuff like that, that someone had to discover you. And I'm like, well, who's going to discover me? Well, I did. So, um, yeah, I'm just thankful for my village, 
everybody who believes in me, who made this possible. Autumn House, Steve, um, Styles, and Forum Recording Studios. I love all of you guys over there. Um, Biko and Za, and just, um, I'm like forgetting everybody, but damn it, words under pressure. Thank you. I'm just so happy. I'm so excited. Um, and more importantly than that, I know this is something that I'm not alone in. I know that people can relate to it. And whether it's a romantic relationship or a, a family relationship, a friendship, like these songs, this music, you can relate to. So don't think you have to be in a relationship. But if you are, and if you're trying to get out of one, listen to it. <laughs> um... But yeah, it's, it's been a beautiful journey, and I am just praying and looking forward to a million more, because this is only the beginning, and you haven't seen the last of me. No, it's, it's emotional. Yeah, and you, like, you can hear the emotion. Yeah. It's supposed I, to make you feel something. Right. And that I'm like I'm capable of even doing that. It's like, oh shit, like mm -hmm. I can actually do this. I think that's another big thing for me. It's like this is real, you know. Marquise, this is Mickey. Did you leave me a message? Did you text me? I don't know. Um, girl, call me back. Bye. Your fingertips across my back You don't touch me anymore Not like you used to I can feel your breath It travels down my neck You don't touch me anymore Not like you used to I know something's going on Behind my back I can feel it deep inside Something's not right babe. Cause you're standing there Looking right in my eyes I swear I never felt so but far away You said you love me Love me forever You said you'd hold me Hold me and never let go You said it was real How you feel All you ever do is lie All you ever do is lie Through the door Yeah, them lies ain't working good Not like they used to I keep crying, screaming, baby Please no more Mama said don't beg a man If he don't want you The crazy thing is that I'm lying To myself Cause I know a man that loves you Just won't hurt you So I pack my shit, fuck you Go straight to hell Yeah, I love you, but this time It's not about you you love me, love me, love me forever, forever never, never, baby. You said you'd hold me, hold me, and never let me.